So welcome back to my channel. I'm Astrologer Rang Su. Then today I'm going to talk about Saturn in all the houses, and uh, this is my third video on planets in houses. My first one was Jupiter, then Venus, and I'm now I'm going to talk about Saturn, the planet of karma, the planet with the biggest significance. These days Saturn is retrograde, so usually people think that it's a thing to fear. It's it's a natural process. What is the significance of Saturn retrogation? Is actually what you do. You get the results in this time. Like you are studying for your entrance examination, and you get your result out at a particular date. So Saturn retrogation is result of our karmas. So if you're getting good things, that means you have been doing good things in the past. And if your work is getting stuck, that means something is wrong with you. You need to change yourself. So that is the only thing that I want to tell people that not to fear Saturn retrogation. It's all about. It's a natural process. It takes place every year for four months. And within this four months, if you are progressing, that means you are doing good. If your works are getting stuck, that means something is wrong in your policies or your actions. So you need to change that. So let's talk about Saturn and all the houses. And if you want to know more, stay tuned. Let's get started with Saturn in all the twelve houses. So what does Saturn mean if it is in the first house? If Saturn is in the first house, that means that you are a very dedicated person, very hardworking person. But yes, you are a little lazy. You are a late riser. You might be a person who would like to go to office after eleven or twelve o'clock, and you would say that I can manage everything in one hour just because I'm efficient enough, and that's very true for you. No doubt, it's going to uh, delay your marriage. in some cases because saturn aspects your seventh house and whenever saturn aspects whatever house that is going to get damaged because saturn wherever it sits is lucky wherever it aspects is negative okay now second house if saturn is placed in your second house what does that mean it means that you have been a person who has always been into uh pursuing your family business you are a person who will not go out of track you will say i am happy with my what my dad is doing and i am going to follow him it's a good thing to have saturn in the second house it makes your family relations quite bonded what if you have saturn in the third house third house saturn makes you very active agile you are never lazy to take some effort you would never postpone your things you are a person who is true to your words so saturn in the third house uh, yes it might make you little lazy in your school life you might be neglecting your homework in your school life but as you grow up you will become a responsible person and uh, saturn in the fourth house always makes you choose something apart from your father's business you will never accept what has been given to you and yes there are sometimes such kind of people they become very dishonest to their father or sometimes they don't want to be uh, a person who follows traditions and there is always a kind of a setback in the business at one point of their life so at that time they need to be positive and they just have to be positive in every situation and they need to see where the mistake is and need to correct it Saturn in the fifth house usually gives delay in your education, and if you have any love affair, you it might not, uh, you might not be able to marry the person you love. And Saturn in the fifth house usually gives philosophers, then um, uh, good teachers, and uh, it's overall it's good for education, but it's not good for love life. Saturn in the sixth house gives you tendency to cope up with any kind of disease. if there is some kind of setback in your life you are very brave enough to just face it and just bounce back for such people i will only say uh, they fall down but they rise back equally well and they are very brave people saturn in the 7th house usually gives uh, delayed marriage you need to do some remedies if you have saturn in the 7th house you get a person who is mature enough quite elder to you 
and uh, otherwise it's good for partnership if you want to do some kind of business in future it's good so coming to saturn in the 8th house 8th house is for share markets for secret things you might be indulging yourself in secret things that might cause you harm later on in life you are a person who is a very cunning person and uh, you might uh, look very sweet but you are a very cunning person you might uh, have some kind of secret diseases and uh, the only positive thing about saturn in the 8th house is that you will have a long life and there will not be any disease in your life throughout your life you will be healthy saturn in the 9th house is very good it makes you philosopher it gives you spiritual knowledge it makes you a person who likes to travel a lot and you would like to be a person who likes to communicate you can also be a good lawyer so it's fortunate to have saturn in the 9th house saturn in the 10th house makes a person businessman the perfect businessman the perfect organizer the perfect man to look up to because if you are in partnership with a man who has saturn in the 10th house you will never face any loss in your life saturn in the 11th house gives you rock solid income good doctors good lawyers have saturn in the 11th house because it's a regular income so your income will always be high but only thing that you got to curb is your anger so you are a angry young man or angry young woman if you have 11th house saturn you need to curb that 11th house saturn always gives very good administrators so it can be in law it can be you can be a good doctor you can be a, a person who is into hotel management but you will be a very good administrator as overall thing Saturn in the twelfth house. Twelfth house is the uh, Dushtana house, six, eight, twelve. So usually people dread that Saturn is going to give you some kind of drawback in the twelfth house. Yes, sometimes in few cases. Let me clear it up. If Saturn is in enemy house in the twelfth house, it's going to give you intoxication, love for bed pleasure. You are going to ruin your life for drinking too much and driving, or inclination for having too many illicit relationships secret things will be in a part of your life so that will going to hurt your life later on but if saturn is in a positive sign then saturn always gives you foreign travel it gives you foreign export it uh, gives the best yoga instructors they come from saturn in the 12th house if you are into yoga you can uh, open a yoga institute a big one so saturn in the 12th house also makes a person very spiritual so it depends which sign it is so it is good it's bad so you just need to see which sign and do remedies according to that otherwise saturn in the 12th house is usually good for foreign travel foreign sports and during saturn madasha you can think about shifting broad so this was my analysis on saturn in all the 12 houses and i hope you like it i feel like it at the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because my next video will be on rahu ketu so email at this link below if you want to go in for some kind of consultations and thank you so much and if you want to watch this video in hindi after this i'm going to talk about it in hindi and thank you so much for watching stay blessed be happy bye bye तो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट सैटन इन ऑल द हाउसेस इन हिंदी अगर आपका शनि पहले भाव में है तो आप थोड़े से आलसी होंगे परंतु आप बहुत भाग्यवान और सुखी होंगे आप अपने हर कार्य को पोस्टपोन जरूर करेंगे क्योंकि आपके कार्य बहुत आसानी से हो जाएंगे अगर आपका शनि द्वितीय भाव में है तो ऐसा इंसान हमेशा अपने फैमिली के लिए बहुत ही अटैच रहेगा आप हमेशा अपने फैमिली बिजनेस ही करना लाइक करेंगे और आप अपने छोटे बहन भाइयों से भी बहुत अटैच रहेंगे अगर आपका शनि द्वितीय भाव में है तीसरे भाव में है ऐसा इंसान बहुत ही कर्मशील रहता है भाग्यवान बुद्धिमान और शीघ्र कार्य करने वाला होता है ऐसा इंसान कभी भी किसी काम में डिले नहीं करता अगर आपका शनि चतुर्भाव में है तो आपको कभी अपने फैमिली बिजनेस में इतनी प्रोग्रेस नहीं मिलेगी हमेशा बिजनेस में अड़चन ही आएगी ऐसा इंसान कभी कभी कपटी और दुखी भी रहता है और कभी कभी उसकी उदासीनता वजह से उसके कामयाबी में कभी कभी कमी आ जाती तो ऐसे इंसान को हमेशा अपनी सोच को 
पॉजिटिव रखना चाहिए और उसके लिए उसे हमेशा ही एफर्ट लेना चाहिए अगर आपका शनि पंचम भाव में आपको संतान के प्रति कभी दिक्कत आ सकती है और आप थोड़े से आलसी ज़रूर होंगे परंतु आप बेहद विद्वान इंसान होंगे और हमेशा आप एजुकेशन और हायर एजुकेशन की तरफ रुचि रहेंगे अगर आपका शनि षष्टम भाग में सिक्स हाउस में है तो ये शनि की अच्छी प्लेसमेंट है आपको अगर कभी लाइफ में कभी रोग होता है तो आप उससे बहुत जल्दी निकल आएंगे आपको जीवन में असफलता का सामना ज़रूर करना पड़ेगा परंतु आप अगर कोई जॉब करते हैं तो उसमें आप बेहद सक्सेसफुल रह सकते हैं आपको अपने बिजनेस से ज़्यादा जॉब से ही फायदा होगा ये भी हो सकता कि है कि आपके दो काम भी हो सकते हैं अगर आपका शनि सेवन्थ हाउस में है तो आपकी मैरिज में दिक्कत आ सकती है या तो आपकी लेट मैरिज होगी या आपकी मैरिज होने में दिक्कत आएगी तो उसके लिए आपको रेमेडी जरूर करना पड़ेगा अगर आपका शनि अष्टम भाव में है तो ऐसा इंसान स्थूल शरीर कपटी और गुप्त रोगी होता है डरपोक होता है और कुष्ठ रोग भी हो सकता है अगर आपका शनि नवम भाव में है ऐसा इंसान बहुत भाग्यवान होता है आप अच्छे वकील हो सकते हैं आप हमेशा ही विद्वान और साहसी प्रवृत्ति के रहेंगे और आप हमेशा ही अपने भाई बहनों से प्रेम करने वाले रहोगे और बहुत ही सफल इंसान होगे अगर आपका शनि दसम भाव में है ये शनि की बहुत अच्छी प्लेसमेंट कही जाती है इसमें आप बहुत अच्छे बिजनेसमैन होंगे आप हर कार्य में सफलता प्राप्त करेंगे आप बहुत परिश्रमी होंगे धनवान होंगे चतुर और राजमान होंगे आप हमेशा तीर्थ यात्रा में भी रुचि रखेंगे अगर आपका शनि ग्यारहवें भाव में है ये आपकी इनकम के लिए बहुत अच्छा है आपकी इनकम हमेशा हाई रहेगी आप साहसी विद्वान बुद्धिमान और बहुत ही शिक्षा की तरफ रुचि रखने वाले होंगे आप बहुत ही मेहनती होंगे परंतु आप थोड़े से क्रोधी भी हो सकते हैं तो उस पर आपको थोड़ा नियंत्रण रखना चाहिए अगर आपका शनि बारहवें भाव में है आपको हमेशा बिजनेस फॉरेन लैंड से मिलेगा आपका एक्सपोर्ट का काम बहुत अच्छा जाए जा सकता है और शनि की महादशा में आप फॉरेन सेटलमेंट की तरफ भी जा सकते हैं अगर आपका शनि बारहवें घर में है और आप योगाभ्यास की तरफ रुचि रखते हैं तो आप कोई योगा सेंटर भी खोल सकते हैं परंतु कई बार शनि बारहवें घर में बहुत ज़्यादा आलस से देता है उससे आपको बचना है क्योंकि अगर आप आलसी प्रवृत्ति के रहेंगे तो आपको अपने कामों में दिक्कत आएगी और आप हमेशा ही निर्धन रह सकते हैं तो बारहवें घर का शनि आपके लिए तभी अच्छा है अगर आप कर्मशील रहें और मेहनत करें